Here we have a builder's elevation rod. This is the rod that we're going to use to take our elevations when we go around the building. The rod we're going to use to take our elevations when we figure out percent slope. This is the rod we're going to use to take all of our shots, whether they're front shots or back shots. Now, the thing you really need to do is learn how to read this when you're looking through your transit. Here we see a, a bunch of numbers, a red number one, followed by one through 11, and then we have a red number two. What you're looking at, the red number, is the indicator for feet. The black numbers are inches. And we have a little red one, because if we're seeing the, the rod at this position, we cannot see whether we are at one foot or two foot or three foot or four foot. So we're going to rely on this little red number to indicate where our feet at. Here's two feet. Here's a red two between the four and the five, and we'll have another foot indicator between the eight and the nine. Now, when we're looking, we see the number one, and we see a black line next to the number one that has a skewed edge. It's not square, it's cut on a skew. The very top, the long point of that skewed line is, in this case, would be one foot, one inch, is indicated on this position right here on the top of the line. If we look between the lines, you will see that each of those lines are exactly one eighth of an inch apart. So if this is one foot one, the bottom of this black line, this black box right here is one foot one eighth. The top is an eighth inch bigger. So this top position would be one foot one and a quarter. Another eighth up, we have one foot three eighths of an inch. This center box is also skewed like the, the inch intervals. And here we have one foot, one and a half. This position here would be one foot, five eighths of an inch. This would be one foot, one and three quarter. This bottom of this line here would be one foot, one and seven eighths. The top of the line, the, the long point of this line pointing to the number two, would be one foot, two inches. So, that is the simple way to read this, this particular rod. But you need to make sure that you see a foot indicator before you start on your other lines. And remember, the skewed line at the inch interval, the half inch interval, and the next preceding inch interval are your indicators so that you can uh, accurately read this. Again, this is an eighth, a quarter, three eighths, a half, five eighths, three quarter, seven eighths, and a full inch. If you look that over and think about that, reading a builder's elevation rod is relatively simple.